speaker? Yeah, so first, uh, we maybe a little bit of explanation about the story short, so that you understand why. So the very first thing when we began, it was, uh, the first show was in 2010. And uh, for this first show, we came only with the first product that was the music server. At that time, music servers were really rare on the market. And we came with the first one that was already a high-end one, if you want. And uh, what happened, unfortunately, is that on this show, we needed amplifiers, we needed speakers, so that people can listen to the servers, as you can guess. And as the servers at that time were really a little bit too early, if you want, people focused mainly on the nice speakers and on the nice amplifiers, and in a way didn't take that much care about the music server. So I was disappointed because we paid for the room, we paid for everything, and we got few interest on it. So it's when, back from this first show, I decided to create a speaker range and amplifiers. So it's, at that moment, uh, I was thinking about it and I said, it makes almost no sense to be another speaker company that does exactly the same way than others. So we had to find another way, if you want. And uh, after some research, um, we went to this specific speaker design uh, that acts as a dipole, if you want. It, it means the main driver running from 200 hertz until 20 kilohertz, that is behind this fabric. Uh, this driver is uh, playing um, almost the entire range and with a lot of efficiency and speed. Efficiency, depending on uh, how we build it, is more or less around 98 dB. We could make it even more efficient, but at the moment, difficulty of building makes it uh, tricky, if you want, on long term. So we decided to build it standard 98 dB. And uh, it has a huge uh, motor system inside, and instead of pushing air like uh, standard cone drivers, he more or less pinches air, uh, a little bit like, uh, if you remember, AMT, former uh, driver system. Another way, but physically, we, we have the, the membrane that pinches air. So um, after uh, this driver that is playing from 200 to 20 kilo, we need a super tweeter to play until 45 uh, kilohertz, and a low driver that goes from 20 until 200. So uh, in our um, design, uh, the low part, I would say, is rather conventional with a classic load. Uh, depending on the speaker, sometimes we have a sealed load, sometimes bass reflex loads. This one is bass reflex load uh, because it's a smaller speaker. Only on our big speaker, we use closed load. Uh, because with closed load, if we want it to reach uh, the low we need and the quality we need, we need also room and uh, volume, if you want. With this small setting, to achieve the same, we go bass reflex. It's optimized, of course, but it's bass, bass reflex. So um, thanks to the efficiency of the main driver, for the mid and, and high, we can play with uh, amplifiers really f with few power in watts. Uh, let's say if you have 10, 15 watts, it's really good enough, high enough in volume and level. So the sp when you listen to those uh, speakers, as when you listen to all our speakers, the feeling is the same. You have a lot of precision. I would say a little bit like electrodynamic, uh, no, uh, electrostatic speakers. S and in the same time, you have the energy and the, s the speed of horns, if you want. Um, and in the low, as we are conventional electrodynamic, you have exactly the, the feeling like a standard electrodynamic 
uh, low drivers. So we hope that we have the best of electrostatic, the best of horns, and the best of conventional electrodynamic drivers, thanks to this unusual setting. So the smaller speaker is one meter high and really uh, narrow with a small footprint. And the bigger one so far is two meters high and uh, 50 centimeters wide. So it's a rather big baby that achieves really something special and different. With a, a, it's a big, huge speaker. And uh, of course, we have a lot more coming as usual. But uh, so far, it's uh, how it's done. And uh, a little word maybe about the company itself. So we are a French company. Uh, I, started, I started this project, I would say, 18 years ago, even if the company itself exists only since 2010, um, because we, I had to, um, to develop first uh, products, uh, the first music server, then the first speakers, and so on, before to appear. I wanted not to appear with a product being about the listening so-so. The very first products were so-so, I must admit, about the finish and design. It took years to reach a decent finish and design. But so far, I think we, we did it. Uh, so now we, we focus still on the music quality. Of course, it's the main thing for us. And also, we start to really think carefully about the look of the products and the finishing of the product. So it's another step, if you want. Uh, so we are still uh, a small company. Uh, only six people are working there uh, full time, I would say. So we are happy because everything goes fine. We are growing the best way. And uh, we have, great, of course, great hope for the future, uh, of, uh, for the future because we reach something unusual. We bring something different, if you want. We have really something nobody else has, thanks to our own development. So it's, uh, it's an interesting way, uh, technically, commercially, and musically. I hope so.